Hello from my eyes, Flare Blades, and welcome back to your turn to have your heartbeat stop for some odd reason. I've gone through chapter 2 part 1 again, and I've made some changes with the decisions that I made. I've negotiated more when it comes to giving my tokens away to others, but dispersing how I disperse it with people. I gave 20 to Kenji, a few to Neo, a few to Rico. And I believe that's about it. Like, rather than give them all to one person, disperse them out, and then you'll be able to go through there. Okay, so we've got seven clear chips. We're going to spend the ten on Kutaro for the easy ticket so that we can make our way through the dance level pretty easy. Because I've read up that it makes it significantly easier by memorizing the fourth move onwards. So you only have to remember the first three moves. Gin and Neo, um... I'm going to buy one, pretty much one, um, what do you call them, uh, clear chips, and then for remaining 10, I don't know, but also with 50 Rico tokens, I'll be able to purchase her personal information, which, well, let's see, hear me, I absolutely will not eat bitter melon, did you not state you want to eat stir fry, I said fried rice, is it fried rice too heavy for breakfast? Mmm, and bitter melon stir-fry is light. <laughs> Seems like they're getting an early start with some stupid arguments. Mm. No one wants to taste such bitterness early in the morning. No one! But many people drink coffee in the morning. Saffaline, I like the way you're thinking because that is indeed the truth. <laughs> Um, please stop fighting. Also, while I was going through the game again, have you ever noticed something strange about Rico and the way she's been acting ever since the Room of the Lies? It's almost like she's got quite a different personality on her shoulders. Also, added to that, the extra glove which came into hand when it... <laughs> puns intended. Um, when it came to the fact of trying to identify Rico, she acted very differently and she is a little bit what you'd call a bit heartless. Also, don't do the Alice side quest as well. Um, please stop fighting. Ugh, Sarah Chindowin. You've caught me at an unsightly time. Well, will you eat this? No. Well, if you excuse me, you'll receive a penalty if we don't eat at all. Oh, gosh. Hey, wait. Crying doll, tear severely. <laughs> do your best. C calm down, Sarah Chendwin. You have a different out sorry, different look about you from yesterday. Huh? I'll be your conversation partner in exchange you eat the green parts. What an annoying trade. You know what, that's fine. I decided to indulge Alice for a little bit. Hmm, to think better melon could be so tasty, it seems my taste buds have matured in the death game. It was probably just knocking it without trying. Bring up some topic. Come to think of it. Are you talking to Rico? <coughs> Why intrude on such a top on a subject? How crude are you, Sarah Chidowin? Don't tell me you've hardly talked at all. Yes, but I can observe her at a distance. Initially, I did believe that Rico had changed. But in the past few days, I've found Rico is Rico. Her S is unchanged from one I knew. And there I noticed it. He's making it sound like a good thing. Sarah Chidowin, did you even know Rico's past in the first place? Are we going back to this quiz? Hmm, there's a bunch of bongos. Or oh, I produced a folded piece of paper from within his clothes. A magazine article. One day a kind, kind warden handed me this. A small article was titled 36 Rye 818 Breakup Sorry. Samurai Yaiba was the band Rico used to be in. It says, with one of the members gone, the vocalist stated, I can't sing this band's songs anymore, and the group disbanded. A foolish member caused a scandal, and Rika could no longer sing the vocals. A scandal? A murder. Thought for some reason it wasn't made public. Great. Don't tell me the foolish member was Alice. This article was my warning. I deeply wounded Rico's heart. And those wounds can't be healed simply by me accepting punishment. But this article, I have no more use for it. Throw it away for me. Huh? It's not the article I need to confront. It's Rico herself. Please. His warning. 
obtained the band breakup article. Okay, time to continue with attractions. Okay, but first of all, I want to extract some information from Rico's AI. And in order to do that, we want to go to the monitor. Oh, these two have a quabble. It was no use. <laughs> in that case, the monitor destroyed by pretty sure of it, which is why I compiled with the trade. These two are holding a shady tactics meeting. Yeah, long story short, a, a shady tactics meeting. So yeah, um, I still got the clear chips available here, but I think there are benefits doing the attractions themselves because you get clear chips, but at the same time you don't use up other people's tokens which you got from them. But it still doesn't mean that you should just go in there winning early. So, we're going to use the easy ticket, and we're going to use this to lower the difficulty of the darts. Okay. I want to use yours, thank you very much. Transaction complete. Well then, here is your prize. Obtained an easy ticket. This takes effect simply by possessing it. Quite a bargain, is it not? Thanks for that. Right. You. Prize. Rico's personal information. Tokens required. 50 Rico tokens. Yes, please. Traded tokens. Well then, here is your prize. Obtained Rico's personal information. Use this startup device in the monitor room to view the personal information. Thank you for that. Righty who, we need to pick a timing in order to use this, but beforehand, we're going to be looking through each of these victim videos. Because I'd rather use it to um, get victim videos and personal information rather than just squabbling it on getting clear chips when you can just get the clear chip so you could we could just get the <laughs> we could get the clear chips by um completing um attractions i should find a time when no one's looking so i think we've viewed one or two of these already okay i should be good now i'll play it on the center monitor but actually hmm yo so what's up this is an ai of rico huh something's weird right i'm an ai aren't i is it okay if i ask you things hell yeah ask away History. Uh, I'm a super cool 23 year old singer songwriter, something like that. I've liked music since I was a kid. Classical, folk, heavy metal. I listened to all of it. I think around grade school, I found myself starting to compose and write lyrics. My instincts moved my body. That was a fun time. People praised me, and my parents were just plain happy. Once they started calling me a gifted kid, then they started being more noise. Bring more noise. Old blanks in the music industry wanting money. My pubs craving the limelight. Before I knew it, I was making music but my heart wasn't in. Which is the most damning thing about any kind of passion is when it turns into some kind of money making but draining hobby. Or a job. It no longer becomes a job. Be Sorry, it no longer becomes a hobby once it's viewed as a job. In middle school, I rebelled. I was a rocker. I made tons of songs nobody even wanted. But even then, noise swarmed around me. Man, even my spirit had to give in. From high school on, all the spice was gone. Didn't even have anger. My activity dried up. I had tons of chances to be famous, but I smashed them all. I was only just the industry's proper child. Everybody kept their distance from me. Once I couldn't even gather members, I borrowed Alice to make a bad. <laughs> Then two and a half years later, he caused that incident. Well, at any rate, I am who I am because of that blanky past. Learn something from that, sir. I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, I do. Physical info. Five foot seven, one to one pounds. Pretty proud of my reflexes, and I can remember choreography in a snap, so my memory's banging. I wish I had that kind of memory because my memory's a bit foggy when it comes to short term stuff. Like, I don't know, remembering moves for a certain dance minigame? Well, I'm not great at baseball and stuff. Hell, maybe I'm not great at anything that's not that's got nothing to do with music. By the way, what are your measurements? No way to tell you that, right? So she won't answer just anything. Even her AI can be kind of troublesome. <laughs> uh, relatives. Family? Well, uh, I like my mom. Oh, she's a little... She's affectionate, and I cause a lot of trouble. Yeah, I gotta show my appreciation more. My old man, well, he's a good boy. But let's say he gives in to temptation. He's not most true to his convictions. 
I hated him for the longest time, but he's woken up now and gone back to his plain and simple personality. After them is Alice, huh? He's, what should I say? Why did he do something like that? A while after he got arrested, I left music. I just remembered. At the time I wrote in my diary, which is rare, I wrote back music. The thing I poured my soul into all this time suddenly felt like a cold series of notes. This il inorganic thing. I wondered, who this, sorry, was this how music sounded to people who didn't care about it? I always thought I didn't care about my brother. I never listened to him, but truth is, maybe I was just a little jealous of my normal brother and acted that way out of spite. You shouldn't ever murder somebody. No, not at all. Even if that said person murdered somebody else, it doesn't give them the right to be murdered. Even though that sounds really cool. Death game info. Why do I gotta go through this blank? Do we have anything common? I haven't got a clue. Something common, I wonder if there is. Hmm. Uh, what she holds dear. Believe it or not, I think family's important, right? I want to show my appreciation to my parents. But like right now, the original me is being put through this death game, yeah? If she dies, she can't do anything. So when you think of it like that, what's important in my life? So, what's important my own life, ain't it? That, that bit's in, that didn't even make any sense. What about your instruments? Instruments? When I first met Rico, I heard she treasured her bongos. Bongos? Well, sure, I'm playing bongos in my new band, but bongos don't seem to be a ringing, seem to be ringing a bell for this AI Rico. Hmm. Okay, now watch the victim videos. Let's see. No, what is this? Ah, it's a girl. Probably around our age, for some odd reason. Ten seconds till the end of her first trial. So she was in the first trial too. Who? Why are you doing this to me? I've had it with this, this trial stuff. I don't get it. Eek. Time is up. Those eyes are red with fear and tears streaking down. The device will activate shortly. In commemoration, you may say some final words. Stop. I don't want to bleh. Hurts. Mom? Do you also have some concern about all of these people? Aside KG, all of these people are around the same age group. Am I correct or am I wrong? Or around a similar age group? Like you've got Jin and then Kana and Rika around one set of age group. And then you've got, let's say, Alice, Rico, Sarah, Sal. Burger Berg, I think. Maybe Burger Berg is a bit older. But they're all around a similar age group. But then you have like KG and probably Alice as well, who are quite older. So it's like a heavy proportion of the participants in this game are of the younger demograph. Anyways, let's move on from that hideous screen. Awful. A middle school. Maybe high school student, a girl about my age, was mercilessly killed, and they're making a show of it. She was toyed with just so they could make this video as a prize. Hmm. I don't even know this girl's name, but I want to avenge you. I want to avenge you as well. Watch victim video two. We've already looked through this, but why not look for it one more time with the other two videos in tow? Damn it, you've got to be blanking me. You're getting to the, 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 the button. Don't screw me, goddammit. I'm gonna blank you. All your blanks will set this up. Uh, blank. You hear me? I'm gonna blank in you. Damn it, damn it. I'm gonna blank every single one of you who's treating me like this. Uh, pieces of blank. Please. I can't move any further. Stop it. For walls. For walls. For walls crushed you. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, dear. I can't look directly at it. The wall's slowly moving in. In the end, the man... I'm betting this was the first trial. If he'd survived, we likely would have met him. Would he have assisted us? Like, I don't know. Any other person other than Sal? 
Would he antagonize us? Only Sal. I don't know. Either way, we should have at least been able to learn what he was like. I can't forget about this person. Yeah, all of these people are going to be important down the line, which I think the victim videos are kind of important for some backlogging. And this? Looks like somebody already met their fate, looking by the blood and the suspension of where they are. Ugh, worthless. You had to die so easily. Oh, hi. Are you the ranger? Struggle some more. Clean to life. Put up a miserable resistance. A boring human. A worthless life. I don't need your damn clothes. <laughs> eh? You did this? <laughs> sure did. You mortified? Regretful? Somebody tells me she's not regretful. I was just... Wanting to die. Thank you. I wonder if it's going to make the ranger angry. Huh? 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 You should be miserable. Disgusting. Disgusting. This is peeing me off. I'm peed off. Suffer. Go to hell. No. You're going to regret thanking me. Well, it seems as if. How could he? Again and again, he torments the life already lost. Just what is this intense hate? What? Well, why would Ranger hate someone so much? Even though he toys with people's lives, it doesn't make sense. Jealousy? Even I don't know why I thought that. But something intrusively struck me. I sensed a kind of jealousy from Ranger. I wonder, is it jealousy towards humans? I should stop. Just thinking about someone like him is making my heart hurt. I suppose. Okay, we're going to stop the view. We need, I need to clean up so no one else sees. It's amazing that nobody, nobody else just wanders along in here. <laughs> like, just they just trundle on here and do their business, stuff like that. So, for more of the different interaction we've had with people we can trade tokens with and just get tokens from. Jin. Nao. Um, Re, what do you guess her name? Oh gosh, I can't even remember now. Uh, Lobby. Um, so let's look at this. Kutaro, Rico, sorry. Uh, Nao and Jin are the only four people I believe in which we can actually get enough tokens on to buy their personal information. We can get 20 KJ notes or tokens at the very start of chapter two when we can actually get them on the very first interrogation but we can't get his personal information because we can only get 20 of his tokens at the very most but then there's also of course the factor of um sal and his trickery earlier on about wants to trade 50 tokens so we can have a laptop back but 50 tokens means buying personal information which is exactly what Keiji not wanted to. She didn't want to give people 50 of his tokens, let alone 50 tokens to somebody who is the same person. So there's that. There is all that. So now what I want to do is, I don't want to, to talk to you two, because I know what you two are up to. Heinous devils. Especially Sal. If it wasn't for Sal, then we wouldn't suspect Kana. But because Kana is working with Sal, we can suspect Kana as well. If it wasn't for the instigator, then the paddle one wouldn't exist at all. So, memory dance. Let's see. Very hard. A game of memorizing your opponent's dance, repeating the proper moves, defeat the three dolls to win. So that partner, so we've got Kana. So that's going to be hard. Jin. That's also hard. And Rico. Normal. Yeah, but some of these um, games you can make them easier just simply because of the character you're with. But this is real Rico, actually. Or is this a doll of Rico? Partner of Rico? Hmm. I mean, if hypothetically, if this is not a real Rico, then she'll get even more chips because because she's carrying the other five in which we got from the Room of Lies. 
And if that is to be true, then Rico didn't dish out the others to clear her back. Partner with Rico. Hell yeah, this is my strong suit. You're in good hands, sir. Right, let's try and do this again. This time with the wonderful, wonderful easy ticker to help us along. Hopefully it does actually kick in and we don't have to actually remember every past the fourth one. Because that's real annoying. Let's see. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Let's get ourselves 11 um, chips. Remember the order of the moves your opponent does and repeat them back. The moves are up, down, right, left and body. Body is done by touching the character's body. Um, some characters may remember the moves for you. Remembered moves are displayed at the bottom. Just try it. Touch your allies icon will give you a device and the like. So, good luck. Thanks. Go, go, go. So, left, right, body. Let's see. Left, down, body. Reverse three moves I can remember easily. Part set is just a blur. There we go, okay, it's activated, which is nice. Let's see, left, right, left, right, up, down. Hmm. Left, right, left, right, up, right, up, down. Genius! And now this one, which has more than three phases. Let's see. Up. So, down, up. Down, up, down. Left, right. Good. Up, right, down. Up, right, down. Left, up, left, down, right, up body gosh right body up that is right body up body left body right body left body left right body down Right, body down, body down, body down, body right, body up. Thank you. Damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> I could imagine trying to do that again without the easy ticket. That was really nice. Right, we did it. Piece of cake, huh, Sarah? Here, the clear chips, half and half. Obtained two clear chips. A good advantage, huh? Negotiation. Now then. This is very interesting. So I've tried to go through this once already. And this episode was really frustrating me for it to record. Because the many games, I didn't know that the auto clicker had a huge effect on them. But also the fact of that, um... Some of the mini games, especially the dance one, was so complicated, but I just had to bin the episode and redo it again. So, we've got nine clear chips. We've only got 20 and 20, which is enough to get ourselves a clear chip. Hmm. So then, did I save? You know what? I'm going to save again just for the heck of it. All right. So, uh, want to. Trade tokens. You look very on edge, Kutaro. Alright, let's talk, Sarah. Um, Sarah, you got any tokens? Yes. Just ten tokens to find. Trade them to me. I'll, I'll give you forty. Not a bad deal, right? That is a good deal, but... That is quite beneficial to me, but not for you. Sure is. Definitely good terms for you. What's his intention? So no complaints, right? Sarah, he's very on edge. Hold on a second, this is definitely just weird. 
You're imagining things. It's just a regular... It's not a regular trade. It's very one-sided. I wouldn't give you a raw deal. This is a raw deal, but... Please, sir. I will give 40 tokens. You just give me 10. Will you trade? Yeah, he's not actually normal. But this is a good trade for me. Fine, we'll offer the goddamn tokens. Understood. Let's trade, Kutaro. Right. Receive 40 me tokens from Kutaro. Well, I've got places to go. Well, that's it for the discussions. Hmm. I'm still caught up with Kutaro's behavior. Ever since the laptop incident, Kutaro's clearly been acting strange. I saw him head toward the lawn stairs. Maybe I should go look. Yeah, the lawn stairs. And he's at the very top. I can hear the sound of tokens being inserted. Kitaro? Sarah, what's up? <laughs> That's my line! What are you doing, Kitaro? D don't worry, you got a bad habit of that. Please, stop what you're doing. What in the world is that vending machine? Don't get in the way, Sarah. I've collected 200 tokens! 200 tokens? I can see the number 200 written in blue above the machine. Just like at a prize exchange. Don't tell me. Is it the escape ticket? Grr! Kutaro, could you be <laughs> trying to buy a soda? Plan to escape alone? Are you planning to escape alone? N no, that's wrong, Sarah. I'm going to investigate the escape route so we can all lead a revolution together. So all of us can escape. No, that's a lie. You value the spirit of fair play, Kitaro. If that were really your intent, you would have told me before our trade. But you didn't say anything because... You want to escape alone? What's wrong with that? I ain't done anything unfair. I'm just using the right I own fair and square so I can get outside first. And I'm gonna call for help. It's a hell of a lot more realistic than rebelling against who knows how many kidnappers. I got no intention of leaving you guys to die. I ain't gonna trouble you. Please. Let me go, Sarah. <sighs> We should all leave together. Even kids are hanging tough. No, that's a bit of an insult. That's under... No, we should all leave together. Have we ever come out difficulty... <laughs> overcome difficulties together? I know that. We even overcome our allies' deaths. Then when we leave, we leave together, right, Kitaro? Where's the hope of that? If we pass on this, up next another main game. Somebody's dying. With certainty! They'll be killed like Mishima or Joe. Or off themselves like Kai. It's one or the other. But this is our chance. A way one of us can definitely return. Kitaro. I ain't never stood on the mouths of first strainer. I. I gotta prove that even people without parents can have dreams. And make them come true. I gotta show that to the kids at the orphanage. Kitaro. Kitaro's fingers touch the last token. So I forgot to mention a little something. But what is it now? You're not gonna say you didn't express to really get to 100 so we couldn't actually escape? Dumbass, of course you can really escape. It's a real deal freedom. You'll be free from the threat of death. But you know, I don't tell you how we handle the ones who are left. This is what you'd call a solitary victory. Solitary victory? What does that mean? It means everybody except the escapee dies. Uh, I didn't hear nothing about this. <laughs> I mean, the ranger deliberately did this so that it would make him regret his decisions, but he'll probably still do it. <laughs> Sorry, Plum forgot about it. You think that'll cut it, damn it? I already used all these tokens. How dare you do this? Yeah, I guess it's not very fair, huh? Gotcha. I'll pay it back just for you. All the tokens you used. Great, right? Good for you. You don't have to kill your allies. Huh? What's the matter? Stop now and I'll give the tokens back? Okay. No, don't tell me. You're gonna sacrifice them just to save yourself? What? How scary. Kitaro is in a mental battle. Kitaro, you can't coerce him. Stop this foolishness. Real deal freedom. This line, though, is just make it all up. You're being tricked. He's going to do it. I'm sorry, Sarah. 
What? Stop. No, Kutaro! Chuckling. Ah. Wait, that sounds bad. I hear a clamorous sound. Inorganic mechanical sound. A very long, endlessly continuing sound. Mixed in... Sorry, mixed in what it is as... With a th mixed in with it is the faint sound of a door opening. Kitara disappears into the light behind the door, gazing at the light of hope mere meters away. My senses come to a halt. Came to a halt. Yeah, game over. That's what you call a bad ending. Well, at least Kitara escaped, but the rest of us... I think it wasn't just Sarah, but it was everyone. We're not going to discuss... There's only one person to discuss. I think this time I won't. Hmm. What to do now? Hey, Blank, how you doing? My name is not Blank. My name is called Sarah. What do you want? Oh, scary. Come on, I'm just asking how you feel. All right, no delinquents on my watch. Time for a parent-teacher conference. A parent teacher conference? Can we just go elsewhere and not have this parent teacher conference of what you would want to call it? Uh, okay. You're collecting those tokens, you blank? Tokens? I am. Yeah. How wonderful, Miss Sir. You're a fine girl for doing as the teacher says. Are we done? So stubborn. Your heart's getting worn down. Well, anyhow, by the way, you peeped any of the personal information you can get at the prize exchange? With those prizes, you can boot up AIs in the monitor room and talk to them. Amazing, eh? Artificial intelligence. There's still so much we don't know about that. Ranger, could you please tell me more about the AIs? You've got a bad attitude. Ask cutely and I'll think about it. Thank tears, no forcefully. Don't be stupid. Shouldn't a floor master offer explanations? Seems you don't like me, don't you? Well, nobody likes you, Ranger. Well, whatever, I'll tell you. Hmm. The AIs are basically super detailed reproductions based on you, the participants. In fact, they're AIs with hearts possessing superb emotional capabilities. Their personalities and memories, too are all based on info gotten from observing all y'all for ages. Observing us for ages? Yep, and we update your memories periodically, every six months. Though if we get serious about it, we could get them up to date in a day. Truth is, it was planned to steadily update them with your memories during the death game too. But when we tried putting memories of his own death in the Mishima AI, it bugged out. <laughs> Do you have something to do with the Smash Mishima AI then? Why you? As you know, constructing the personality for the AI is sorry, AI is a lot harder than that. Unlike memories, it's enough work just to update the personality every three years. Every three years? Then just how long have we been You realized yet? Your day-to-day -day lives have been washed over tirelessly. Anyhow, anyway, guess that's about it. Hmm. Do your best not to die, Sarah Chinderwin. Though if you do die, I'll be taking those clothes off your hands. Got me? No, because you didn't want to take the clothes off a particular victim in which you watched die, or you participated in the enactment of that person dying, but you didn't get the satisfaction of hearing their crying or scream because they wanted that to happen. Which is very, very, what you would call heinous to think about. He's a real piece of work. Yeah, that ranger is. Not a ranger. Rangers are meant to be good people. Day three noon. Uh, dear, 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 dear. Okay, let's proceed with attractions. Right. Will you really help me collect stars, meow? Yep. Of course, policemen's got to be kind to kids. If you're going to treat me like a kid, I'll pass, woof. Enrico. Can't find Sarah or Sal anywhere. What if they're resting in their room? Why are you looking at them? Why are you looking for them, sorry? And you usually show more resentment towards Sal. Hmm. Really bizarre. 
Like her behavior is quite bizarre. Almost like if she is not Rico, but trying to act like Rico. But it's not having the overstimulants of the usual Rico we're used to, where she really reacts out of um, bad coincidences. I hope I'm making sense here. If not, then I do understand that. Right. We are going to buy ourselves a lovely, <laughs> a lovely um, star. So I believe it's, yeah, monitor room. Clear chip, I mean. Then prize exchange. And then here we are. Let's see, you're gonna trade for prizes. We're going to, can't do that, can't do that. 20 of gins and 10 of um, nails. And we bought ourselves a thing. Obtained a clear chip. I've got a clear chip, so maybe I should skip on attractions and rest this time? Hmm. Negotiation time. What's with all these hallucinations in front of us? These are definitely hallucinations, for goodness sakes. How many hallucination points do... Okay, 20. So we've got 70 at the moment. So we could go up to 90 and then from there um, recover from that. Because we can't reach 100. We can reach 90, but I don't think we can reach 100. So let us save up and go ahead and see what... Kai. Or all of these, actually. Discuss. Carthus wrists. Yikes, Captain. Hey, are you okay, Meow? Ah, oh, Big Sister Sarah, you're up, Wolf. You're having a nightmare, Meow. You okay, Wolf? Ugh. At some point, fall asleep at a table in the lobby. I'll bring water, Meow. You should drink it, Wolf. Hallucinations worse by 20. Oh dear, Sarah. Why? Why didn't you save me, Sarah? Ugh. No more. No more of this. Big sister Sarah, I brought water, Meow. Th thank you, Jen. Drink of water calmed me down a little. Thanks. I guess I was having a scary dream. Yeah? Jin see me like this is making him uneasy. I need to put on a smile. You don't have to force it, Meow. Jin? A squishy paw covered my hand. You have scary dreams before we're together, Wolf. Don't worry, really relax, Meow. But Jin, what about the attractions? It's all that worrying about other people that's got you to si to so tired, sorry, Meow. Big sister, believe in us and the rest, Meow. Believe. You're exactly right, Jin. Seeing each other's presence through our hands, we both rested. One, two, three, ten. I count them over and over, and there's no mistake. I collect enough chips. I'm safe now. Hmm. Could we have done something else rather than, um, do that? I feel like we could have skipped from there and not encounter those, so we could actually do an attraction throughout the afternoon. Actually, we're going to do that right now. Okay, so regardless of that, I survived a sub-game, it's over. Over? No, it's about to begin again. The main game. No. Some will die again. No, no, no. No! Ugh. I fall asleep without realizing it. Deeply. Like the dead. I wonder if we could have got nine and then got the, like, the eleventh one. I don't know. I can't get up. And as if gravity is crushing me, I can't move. Has all my exhaustion caught up to me? Was everyone else able to collect enough chips? My eyes quickly glanced around the room. Millie. I realize there's someone there. What? I can't move my body. Help? You can't show anyone. There was a rustling on top of a chair, and before I knew it, they're gone. Who? Who? Who would be doing that? Ah. Sit up hastily and my body felt very light. I slept like I was dead. Something's been placed on the chair. 
What is this? Obtain four. Wait, four papers. Were those the papers we got, like, with um, people's names and their chance of survival? These are familiar. Let's see. Sarah Chindlewin, high school student, um, boxer, KG, ex detective. The ex part is really bad. Like, if there's something up with him. Um, what was um, Sal like? Like a globetrotter or something? Or a, a self hopper, I mean. Which, the only one that fits with Bill was self employed. Which means his chances are always going to be zero when it comes to survival. Another thing about these papers is that they're not torn up. These are the papers that Jim found, I believe. Names, occupations, and mysterious numbers. I remember this. Hmm. What is it, Meow? Take a look at this. It's a piece of paper I picked up. And... Let's see. This is Jin's. Hmm. Yeah, because... Kutawa was not a high school teacher. If you move the left half... And connects to the piece I have. Yeah, because Kazumi Mishima is a high school teacher. And Megumi is quite likely a detective, even though we haven't met the character. Uh, Remaru, don't know the name of the character. Alice, definitely is that. They connected Wolf. These are the same as the main sheet Jin showed us in the main game. And they're not torn up, and it's four sheets. 16 people's names. 16? Four names per page. There are 20 participants in a death game. One sheet is missing. Hmm, and what's this? 9.5% KG Shingui X Detective X Detective? Has KG lived the force? Hmm, what are these rosters? Who wrote them? What are they trying to say? I can't be taken in like this by this, it might be a trap Settle down I took a deep breath Once calm I realised the situation I was in it's not the time to be looking at these. Where is everyone? Everybody else has moved. We still got our 70 hallucination level, level though, which is not what we'd call a very good thing to have. I'd rather get that cured. Are we able to get that cured? Oh, we, can't, we probably can't get that cured, actually. No way. Guys, where are you? Looking to the windows, the morning sight shone radiantly into my eyes. Today is the fourth day. The time limit's up. Sheesh, that wasn't so bad, was it? Alice. This worthless sub-game is over already? Alice? What is it, Sarah Chinderwin? You seem surprised. Hmm. Morning. Pretty refreshing one, eh? The hell is refreshing about this? That's not how Rico normally acts. Damn it! In the end, we've still got no means of escape. You could have. Now, now. Maybe we should be glad we're still alive. Oh, you snake. I'm not glad you are. Or the snake's little helper. You know Santa's little helper. Yeah, Canna's is the snake's little helper. The loner's a loner, but still a stubborn wolf. What a world. <laughs> well, I'm glad no one has to be sacrificed, truly. Everyone. Not a single one of us is missing. This isn't a dream. This won't ha go how the kidnappers expect. Huh, didn't count on this. Hi, Ranger. Your blanks are cockroach level stubborn. Don't make light of us. We're more stubborn than roaches. <laughs> or cockroaches. Yeah, yeah, I guess I underestimated that. Okay, Ranger, what have you got up your sleeve? What have you got in your hand? Honestly, figure at least one of you all die. Well, whatever. There's a place I want you all to come to. What? Don't tell me the main game already. Not just yet. Gonna save the most fun for last. Grr! A-hole. Come on, just look behind you. Eh? Oh, the sunlit room. A door. Great design, right? I want you to go through there. Scratch that. You are gonna come through if you don't want to get killed. What should we do? Don't worry. We want all within the rules. Shouldn't be anything too absurd. 
Guess we got a meow. Let's go, wolf. What's all these meows and wolves? Right. Oh, gosh. We can't heal ourselves. Fine. Room is dark. I can hardly see anything. Range is probably playing or something. I need to steal myself first. Let's a go. Let us a go. And even the melon lady is here. Looks like the blanks have assembled. What do you want from us now, meow? We meow. We've all collected our clear chips. Shouldn't be any problem. This stupid game's over, you damn doll. Now, yeah, sorry to say, but the sub game's not over yet. Eh? Uh, let's see the results. You all forgotten this was a game of buying and selling tokens, right? I get it. The number of tokens we've gotten by trading. Specifically, we're counting up the totals of other people's tokens you've touched at least once. That means even tokens you lost after getting them count towards a total. So you don't have to have them currently? That's right. I told you this game switched out trust for tokens, yeah? The amount you were handed, that's what matters. So naturally, however many of your own tokens you got, they won't be counted. Now to announce the standings. Announce the standings. Line up. The superb person who enjoyed the most trust will be awarded a special privilege. Privilege? Let's get to it. The glorious title of first place goes to... Does that have to be a drum roll being there? Kitaro Burgerberg, congrats! Yeah. Okay, stand right here. Uh huh. Well then, let's see, can I have the interview? Why you? Don't mess around, what's this privilege I got? What a spoiler spot, I'll explain that later. Everybody, but first doesn't get a prize, so I'll just announce them in order. <laughs> what's this annoying but thing? Don't interrupt me, Saffaline. What? You told me to do it just like in rehearsal, didn't you? Announce the top three. Kana Kaisichi? Me? Alice, yeah, the same. Uh, and so Hiori, it was a close fight. You can go to hell. Both of you. Both Ranger and Sal. But you know what? You can both have the same seat in hell. You can fight over the seat like magical chairs. <laughs> Not a bad placing. Sounds like the reaction of a guy who's never gotten first in his life. On to the smack dub in the middle. Your most stunningly average is... KG? Ah, just barely held on there. Oh, surprise I'm not trusted. And our flunky students are the three idiot girls. Sarah, Rico, and Neo. Who are you calling idiots? This ain't a game. Okay, three dot idiots gather over here. Now to announce the bottom of the barrel. In very last place is... Jin. Came in at dead last, just the worst. Don't call me dead last, woof. You're making me mad. Come on, you got zero tokens. Seems you didn't accept them from anybody. I didn't want to do something that's like trading money, meow. Stubborn to the end. Don't kids these days feel any regret losing? Well, whatever. Let's take a commemorative photo. Stand right there. I can't take this. Is Ranger playing around? I'm getting a bad feeling. Yeah, I think we've all got bad feelings about this. We're going to say it's in place. Good. Now smile wide. Nice. So that's the privilege. What the hell is this? What are you up to now? I, I can't move, Wolf. Move. <laughs> move. Jen Kutaro. Ranger, let us two go. Or else. Ah, uh, how about no? What? What's this cage? You stay put right there. Please let us out. Ranger, the hell are you doing? Let them all go. You aren't still going to do something to them, are you? Okay, you three noisy girls, watch over them from the impression room. Huh? Okay, that's just an elevated floor. And what's with that cat by Shaffling as well? Oh, that's a bit, that's, um... Oh, I forgot not six. I forgot that's Jin's, um, companion. What is this? We're high up. The ground's risen. As a reward for your efforts, I give me a special invitation. Good for you. What do you mean in pressure room? God damn it, cut the rubbish, Ranger! Better stop shouting and start listening, cause I'm about to explain the rules. Rules? You say? The rules for the final attraction. 
the arbitration room. Damn it. Currently, first place guitar and last place gin are attached back to back on a target. Soon a timer will begin. When the timer hits zero, the machine will activate. And a Vemastina will be fired at last place gin. <laughs> Meow? The venom of the Raikuto giant scorpion is powerful. He'll die very painfully. You're kidding, Meow? Why? We've well, got ten of the stars, Meow? It's only natural to hand out a penalty to the last place who didn't earn anyone's trust. We didn't hear about that, not once. Ah, uh, sorry. No, that can't. Damn it, sheesh. How is this not just an execution? Oh, fine, I'll give you one way to save him. If the one who gathered most trust wants to take his place, I might accept that, see? Kutaro, there's a red switch in sorry, red switch in front of you. Press that, and the target will do a 180 and the Steen will aim at you instead. Gah! You don't mean that privilege was! The privilege be a sacrifice for Jin. You're free to do whatever. That switch isn't a duty, it's a privilege. Muscle Gorilla. He's again very constricted into what he's thinking right now. He doesn't want Jin to die, but he doesn't want himself to die. Well then, shall we get started? The rest of you can take it easy. Help! Help me, meow! Muscle Gorilla! Muscle Man. But we've got this floor, for goodness sakes. Means of rescue. What can we do here? Well, we can't have Kai or um, Joe. Actually, why are they still on here anyways? That a-hole. I knew something was wrong with it just ending like that. Ah, uh, Jin, we have to do something. The LCDs have activated. The timer started. Crip, what now? What should we do? We can't jump from this height. Ain't this any way we can interfere? Ain't there any way to inter interfere? Something interfere. An interference of sorts. Mm. Right. Let's think of a way we can save Jin. Let's choose this topic. I don't want to sacrifice anyone else. But how? Well, Sarah, what should we... Earlier, Ranger. Called this the final attraction. Ah. So far, the attractions have all been made to be beatable. There must be something, a way, to save Jin. Sarah, let's think about it. We absolutely cannot give up. Development. You can say that, but all we could do is watch. The guys on the ground at least might be able to do something, but from this place, we can't even get near Jin. Rico, over and over, we've been shown hope over only to be betrayed. This must be the same. This is not the Rico we would know. The Rico we would know would have some absolute resolution towards a way for there to be able to escape with all of us intact. To think even Rico is losing heart. We have to think, right Sarah? Yes. When I'm with you Sarah, I feel like I can go overcome any difficulty. If we all think together, we should hit upon something. Please, you guys, have some kind of revelation. Anything! Time's limit's pretty sure. Best of luck with that. In this discussion, there is a time limit before the Venom Astina is fired. Use of extract to draw our statements, as well as failures with verse or items will advance time. Do your best not to let the Stina be fired. Indeed, what should we do at this point in time? Extract Rico. You can say that, but all we can do is watch. I mean, what else do you think we could do? What else can we do? See if there's a trick in the room. We could check if there's a special trick or something to this impression room. Some trick? Got it. The first thing you notice is these two LCD screens, huh? The right LCD says left 35.5. No doubt that's the timer of the poison. I bet when it goes down to the left zero, Jin's gonna... Okay, Rico's calmed down. Time has advanced. Let's see. Hmm. 
I just want to talk to. We have to think, right, Sarah? Hmm. What I can do is observe. And what I'm curious about here is, um... Why are these two LCDs here, I wonder? I'm guessing one of them is the timer can... Sorry, counted down to when the venom is seen fires. Yes, that's right. Then the left LCD would be the venom timer. It's ticking down moment by moment. Good. Neo's regained at composure. Timer's advanced. Okay. Now with that in tow, what can we do with the two calmed people? Unless, of course, they're still... Wait a second, Rico. Y yeah, what? Is there a timer on the Venomastina on the left LCD? But the right LCD timer says left 35.5. Ain't this one the timer? It's not moving. That's true. Yeah, the left 35.5 display on the right LCD isn't changing at all. What? Well, you're right, it ain't going down. But if it's not a timer, what's the right LCD supposed to be showing? Hmm, I don't know, but I could think of one thing. It might be key to solving the trip behind this attraction. <laughs> really? You really want to claim there's a way to save Jin, huh? Then like hell I'm gonna run. Let's figure this blank out. Okay, that's a bit more like Rico. First, we need to think about what left 35.5 is talking about, right? It's probably left as in the remaining, huh? Maybe we have to lower the number or do something to free those two? In which case... What's important is the units on left 35.5. Length, weight, volume. If we know the units, we will, will we solve the mystery? But if we narrow it down to length, it could be meters, inches, yards. If we just figure out what it's related to, that should give us a hint. A person, an object in action. Like, say it's a number related to Neo, then... Um, for instance, if we cut 35.5 centimeters off of Neo's hair, Jim would have been saved. If, cut, if changing up my hairstyle will save Jim, I'll cut off as much as I need to. I really don't think it's that. But what we can do is say what pops into mind. Honestly, the battle is more about intuition than logic. But I've no doubt this number has to do something present here. We'll find escape, even if you have to brute force it. Hmm. Okay, Kutara is out of this equation for some odd reason, so we had advanced through. Let's see. Extract Rico statement and choose person. A person's object or action. Person. How about a person? A person in that case. What if it could be a number related to Jin? Up being targeted by Vestina. Huh. Got no proof though. It's just a suggestion. A number related to Jin. Time advanced. Let's see. Extract Neo's statement of, let's see, what's important is units of 35.5 of left, length, weight, volume. If we know the units, we will solve, will we solve a mystery? Hmm. Weight. Yeah. How about weight? 35.5 kilograms. 35.5 grams. Um, 35.5 kilograms would be about the weight of a grade scholar, like Jin. The weight of a grade scholar time advanced so so we need to conflict these statements then store statement apply statement wait neo what did you just say uh that 35.5 kilograms is about the weight of a grade scholar i wonder if hey jin you weigh yourself at school right yeah tell us your weight in kilograms how much is it 35.5 <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly it, the number on the LCD. Is this just a coincidence? It's too exact to be a coincidence, but what the world does it mean? Hmm. We're thinking it's left 35.5 kilograms, right? So then that's what's left of Jin's weight. So what the unfortunate thing that Venom will do is reduce that weight. Either increase or decrease in the value should give us the answer. Increase or decrease 30.55. But 35.5 kilograms. What? Where? Who? Let's think about this again. Just say whatever you can think of. Hmm. Let's see. Throw ideas. Don't panic. I just got it. Huh? This platform we're riding. The impression room itself is a giant pressure switch. No way. 
They say we'll need 35.5 more kilograms to press down the switch. So it's just plain, yeah, because if we add 35.5 kilograms of weight to the platform, maybe some machine will rescue Jin when we st will start up, sorry. Hmm. How do we do that though? But how the hell can we determine that? Wait, there is a way. Tell me, what way is there? We jump. If this platform really is a scale, measuring out weight then, the weight needed will increase while we're airborne and decrease from the land when we, sorry, the impact when we land. Basically, if we hop around, yeah, should display should fluctuate. Understood, then please do a jump. Here it goes. We can leap high into the air. Well, sir, did it change? No, it didn't move. God, seriously, not for a second. No, there's no reaction. Oh, dear. Then it, is, then it is unrelated after all. You mean the suppression room really is just for getting an impression? Whatever do we do doesn't make any difference. The impression room is just for outsiders. Even leaping doesn't change the display. But is it actually irrelevant? Time advanced. Next up is Extract Neo's statement. Mm, Sarah? Despite what Reiko says, I wonder if we're really irrelevant. Yeah. The poison timer and the left 35.5 kilogram display. Why are they here where only we can see them? And also, why were just the three of us separated out? Ranger said we had a special invitation, but sure enough, there's too many oddities. Hmm, the higher places aren't here. The high places aren't here. Ranger said this was a reward for our efforts. Yes. But considering that, it's bizarre that it's only those of us who place low here, which is contrary. I wonder, is the goal of this impression room to be a penalty, is to punish the flunking students? It's unthinkable. Time advance. Right, let's conflict these then. Store statement. And then store statement. Neo, repeat that for me. Uh, I think this room is meant to punish us. What are you talking about? And it's one of us punishing us. That's got nothing to do with rescuing Jin, right? I mean, if that were true, there'd be no reason to separate us from Cage and the others. I'm sure this room is connected to the mechanism to rescue Jin. Maybe our punishment is related to the left 35.5 kilogram display. It's irrelevant. Nothing we do has got any meaning. Take a look. No matter how much we leap, that display ain't changing. With that, Rico jumps up high again. Thump. Huh? The hell? I just heard a sound. Say what? I think it came from the floor. I tried touching around. There's a faint rattling noise coming from this tile. I wonder if there's a small indentation of gaps between the tiles that I can get my fingers into. This tile here, it's removable. Eh? Oh, I tear it off. Ready and... Below the tile. At the bottom of a deep, deep hole was a bed of large spikes. Yikes! The hell is this, a trap? Sir, there's right on the back of that tile. To rescue. To rescue? Just been a piece of a tile fell to the bottom. Oh, hello! The right number's gone down by 0.2. Let's see. It went down a little. I wonder what that means. Hmm. I think this means is the weight of the fragment. We can't do with the length of the spike because there's nothing to do with it. Weight of the fragment. The weight of that fragment? Huh? I see. Rico's idea wasn't necessarily wrong. Ranger, answer me. At the bottom of this hole, there may be a bit of spikes, but... Could it also be a scale? A scale? Hmm. A piece of a floor tile fell down into the spikes in a decrease of 35.3 kg. Most likely the difference can be accounted for as the weight of a fragment. In short, if something 35.5 kilograms or greater is dropped down here, the better mechanism will stop. Am I wrong? Correct way to figure out that much with clues like these. You're one amazing blank. Then we can really rescue him. We can save Jin, right? 
course you can. That is, if you can. Now, no time to dwindle, 35.5 kilograms. I want to talk about what to use as a weight. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see if the walls here, see these lights are on. We will bust them up and drop them. Bare handed? Then what do we do? Something heavy enough to use. There's nothing on this platform, is there? Did that damn ranger never intend on letting us save him in the first place? Is there no hope at all? Sharp, Rico. Don't do this at all. Talk to Rico. Okay, extract from Rico. Damn it, god damn it. I don't care. I'll destroy these LCDs and those walls barehanded. Rico kicks the wall, but it doesn't budge. Then the floor tile. If we break them apart and drop it all down, I already doubt it would be 35.3 kilograms. Then, then. Guys, there's no way to save him. No, there's just one way. But it's the worst possible. Time advance. Let's see. Nao. Sarah. You've noticed, haven't you? The only way, you mean, I understand now why the people who place high aren't here. Clearly this is an unwanted duty, and there'll be a dispute in this place. I have an answer. One of us has to fall, don't we? No. Is there no other option? Time advance. No, we can't that allow that to happen, for goodness sake. Store statement, and store statement. What? What did you just say? There's only one way we can to kit a weight of 35.3 kilograms, a human body. If someone falls, that will weigh down the switch and rescue gin. And be skewered? You're saying if we want to save those two, one of us has to be sacrificed? Aha, uh -huh, you just noticed. Yes, the impression room allows you to leave an impression. With someone's sacrifice, you can stop the device. You goddamn. But see, you are some lucky blanks too. Like Saffaline? If a guitar place last, he would be over 100 kilograms, so I imagine all three of you would descend, would have to descend in order to save him. Would she just. Come on, pay more attention to the time you got left. It's really getting down there, okay? Soon enough, this discussion will be over, so you might want to settle quickly on who to sacrifice. Make a sacrifice for Jin. Hmm, what's wrong? Haven't you been racking your brains to do just that? But this is awful, I can't decide such a thing. Uh, what are you babbling about? If it were Mishmas the Jin, you'd push your allies in a heartbeat, right, Neo? Don't be ridiculous, ridiculous. I would never. <laughs> if you don't like pushing, you just have to sacrifice yourself. Any kind girls who wish to save Jin, please skew yourselves by all means. Damn it, Ranger. You're meddling too much in this human dissection doll. Huh? Do you three remember? Ranger said it when we first met. If you do well in the sub game, then no one will have to die. Ah, oh, that's right. Stranger, if someone has to die to win, that violates the rules. Then, there must be a way to not be skewered. You serious? It's 35 kilograms. What can, do, what can the three of us do? D don't tell me color parts of our bodies. Ugh, I can't do something that gross. The floor tile. If we ride on the tile we removed, maybe we can avoid the spikes piercing us. Hmm. How do we avoid getting schoolward? Let's see. You selected item. This is it. <laughs> this rope has had me mystified. What if this web of happiness is a wire rope prepared just for this occasion? The thing from back then? You think that's gonna be... Please think back, Rico. On top of the plate, there's also a note. This is a web of happiness. In the final attraction, it may just save your lives. It definitely said that. Say what? I completely forgot about it myself after I collected enough chips. This is the only place left to use it. Yes, a wire rope of this fitness should let someone hang from it and descend. Earlier, Shuffling misspoke. If Guitar had placed last, he would be over 100 kilograms, so... 
I imagine all three of you would have, have to descend in order to save him. She said descend. She never once said fall. Was this Saffalin's mistake, or else did she want us to? Hmm. What's up, Sarah? Nothing. If we fall from such a high, we'll definitely hit the spikes and die, but if we descend with a rope, we can stand between the spikes. Alright, so we can save Jin. Thank God. Where did you get such a thing? The Room of Lies. Room of... Lies? Wait a second, um, is this okay? Uh, you don't mean... Mm -hmm. Rico finally pu sorry, pulled firmly on the web of happiness. Hmm. What? You're kidding. The web of happiness snapped easily. No! <laughs> so close, if you just believed a little more, I could have seen you get skewered. How far? How far do these traps go? What kind of happiness? It just showed us hope and ripped it away. This goddamn thing is a web of misfortune. So this was the lie in the room of lies. That's what I'm telling you all. You'll all sacrifice someone. What do we do? What do we do? Hmm. You could choose to sacrifice anyone or give up. Progress, definitely. Whatever kind of progress it is. Don't think about it, Nao. This is no good. If no one talks, we're just wasting time. But what can we do? What options are there? Hmm. You could choose to sacrifice anyone or give up. No effect. Give up. I can't. I'm sorry, Jin. I can't do anything. I can't choose my own death, nor choose someone as a sacrifice. I can't be burdened with anymore. My heart is at its limit. That ain't like you, Sarah. Uh? We can't give up yet. Sarah, there's still time. It's impossible to give up, Sarah. Huh? Even you realize, right? There's no way left to save him. But I can't desert Jin. You think I don't feel the same way, but let's quit sugarcoating it. We can't save Jim, we just have to give up on him. No. That's wrong. Something's off. Eh? Rico would never say something like that. It's not how I really feel either, alright? But look now, can't you really sacrifice yourself for this? I can't do it, so I'm just going to say what I mean. No, that's bizarre. It's like, it's like you're not Rico. Please stop it. This isn't the time for a pity quarrel. Rico, you've changed. You are so full of affection. Don't act like you know me after how little we've been together. I'm... I mean, I'm just accepting the facts. No, you have changed. Now that I think about it ever since. Both of you, get a grip. Sir, please listen. I'm perfectly calm. There's something I've kept quiet about. Huh? I know. The one who broke Professor Mishima's monitor was Rico. I saw it. I saw when Rico destroyed Professor Mishima's monitor. But I believed in Rico. That's why I didn't tell anyone. I... What are you talking about? I've got no memory of that at all. No memory? Call it, Nao. There's something wrong with you. But wait, please. This isn't the time to talk about this. Kana was right. There's no... This is no more than a feud. And yeah, Nao seems abnormally serious about this. Should I entertain this subject? Ask for details. Okay. Rico is the one who broke Professor Mishima's monitor. I saw it. I thought there must be just some reason, so I kept it all to myself. Ask for details. Please continue. Once I finished talking to Professor Mishima, I left the monitor room, and I vowed I would never go back there. But, but... I just couldn't bear it. I want to talk to the professor again. Even knowing I shouldn't, my legs carried me to the monitor room. But I wasn't able to enter. A sound like shattering rang out, so I immediately hid myself in the library in the lobby, sorry. And I saw Rico leave the monitor room with blood dripping from her hand. Her fist looked like there were fragments stuck in it. 
I froze up with fear and Reiko passed by without noticing me. When I entered the monitor room afterwards, Professor Mishima was... Riko must have punched with all her might and destroyed it, but Riko just went on keeping it a secret, thinking about it. It was about then that she started acting strange. Just what is she hiding? Is Nao telling the truth? What in the world? To confirm if she is, maybe I should ask a certain someone. KG. KG, you did investigate in, in the monitor room, didn't you? Oof. If you think that's what's important, sir, guess I'll talk. Rico broke the monitor. Your friendly policeman saw it too. What? Time advanced. Got any epiphanies in the whole rescue thing yet? Sorry to bother while you're hunkered down talking, but Venomous Teen is gonna fire real soon. <laughs> no way, meow. Stop it, Wolf. Ah, I keep my promises. Sarah, you, you still ain't gonna plan? You give us a little more time. No good, we have less time than I thought. Let's see what's going on down here. I'll testify. It's true. Rico's the one who broke Professor Mishima's monitor. What? Rico, you s should say it yourself already. Any further derailments is a waste of time. What are you sprouting? There's no reason to hide it. Isn't that right? What do you mean? While Nail was witnessing the incident, hidden in the lobby, I witnessed it too, hidden at the prize exchange. I had a good spot to see everything. The whole conversation between Rico and Mishima. Hmm. I get it. You got any other info? Just a bit. However, I imagine it won't be enough to satisfy you. Well, crap, oh well. In addition, I must make a shameless request. What's up? Tell me. Once we're done talking, I want you to destroy me. What? Well, don't be ridiculous. I shall not hide any information from you. I don't mean that. It's gonna make Nao cry. She'll never be able to see you again. That is the idea. Huh? Nao resolved herself. She said she would never come back here. She must walk on her own now. I don't want to. So I don't want her res her resolve to be shaken. If I'm gone, the temptation will disappear. I don't get it. Why would you? Don't you? Want to see her too? I do, and I don't want to die either die? The people who created me must have been quite brilliant. Even an emotion like fear is programmed into me. I feel it. The fear of death. If this monster is destroyed, I will disappear. I am very afraid of that. But then, for Nero's resolve to come to nothing, it's even more terrifying to me than death. Please, Miss Reiko. I can't point a weapon at Nero's dear teacher. Regardless, Rico granted Mishima's wish. She swung her fist with an unbearable look on her face. But she couldn't confess to Nao. Th that's... Well, why did you tell me, Rico? Because of that, I... I suspected you. Nao. Keiji. What in the hell are you guys talking about? What? I seriously don't know anything about that. Who are you mistaking me for? Rico? I mean, do you see any scars like that on me? Hmm... You think it's under my gloves or something? Here, I'll show you. Rika removes both of her gloves. Her hands were clean, with not a scratch on them. There's no wound. But you were bleeding so much. They couldn't be that, that clean after just two days. Were you guys seriously seeing a fake or something? A fake? There must be one, right? What do you mean? It's not complicated. Heavy wounds don't just suddenly heal up, do they? The Rico who destroyed Mishima's monitor was a fake. No, I think it's the other way around. I think that was the real one. What's he saying? This is turning bizarre. Is there even a point in discussing this right now? This situation is a dead end anyhow. Aren't you feeling fatigued, sir? fidgety, Sarah? Keep carrying on the discussion while this illogical mystery remains. I... Understood. This is important. Let's discuss the possibility of a fake. Hmm. At any rate, I didn't break the monitor. I don't know what this is about. Could the Rico who broke the monitor have been someone else in disguise? With her tone of behavior, it could only be Rico. Her voice was definitely Rico's too. Hmm. 
Whoever has a wound on their hand, that's your fake. There's your fake. But was there any reason for someone to pretend to be Rika and visit Professor Mishima? Exactly. You. Could the Rico Brute Remod have been someone else in disguise? Hmm, actually we'll say first because I know how these things go about. They always turn out to be bad. Like Kana. After all, Rico wears enough makeup that you could look like her if you wore it too. But Rico said she was careful to store her clothes in her room so no one could steal them. None of us could obtain her clothes, so none of us could dress up like her. Dress up? Come to think of it, have I heard of the words dress up doll recently? Time advanced. Hmm. Extract Sal Statement Choose Ranger. Get it, Rico broke the monitor with her fist. If she got a wound, it should be on the back of her hand. So there's someone hiding a wound there. How about Ranger? Rio Ranger, the dress-up doll? Yeah, he does have a glove on his hand. And come to think of it, though he's a guy, he's got a similar frame to Rico. Time advanced. But time obviously is not on our side. Hmm... Oh man, what are you blanks even doing? Time's way up, dumbasses. Say what? The dart will be fired shortly. Hold on. Five. No oh, wolf, spare me, meow. Ah, uh, no way. Jin. Four. Hey, hey, you're kidding me. Hold on. Kutaro. Big Sisera. Three. Help. Help me, Big Sisera. Mr. Policeman. Two. Kutaro, help me. One. Uh, zero. So stop! It hurts. I don't want to die. Well, you got pricks. Couldn't save him, huh, Kutaro? Hey, it's fine. I'd say it's natural to pick your own hide over a cheeky brat. Shut up. Shut your goddamn mouth. You call Jin right now. Help. Don't give up yet, you blanks. There's still a chance left. What do you mean? There's five poison steeners and all, and it's set up to fire one every so often. But one steeners worth of venom isn't that strong. So there's still a chance he could be saved. Of course, it was made so the maximum amount would be able to kill a grown adult, if need be. So whether a kid like this could survive too, that's a mystery yet to be answered. Damn it, you son of a blank, go to hell! Let's continue our discussion, we don't have time to take our anger. Fine then, we'll take our anger out on, let's see, sound counter statements, let's see. Let's take these two turncoats against one another. Hmm. No, it goes in the order of Sal, then, um... Canna. There is someone who could get Rico's clothes. Eh? We can't get into Rico's room, so of course we couldn't steal her spare clothes. But it's not us who bought those spares. The kidnappers repaired them, didn't they? Ah! That's right. Ranger and Shaffling would have access to everyone's clothes. And the ones with a similar frame who could hide the wound with a glove is... You, Ranger, the dress-up doll. It can't be. Ranger was Rico's fake? I get it. Him being the dress-up doll wouldn't be so strange for him to have the ability to do perfect impersonations. <laughs> so stupid. I love pointless chatter. I'll tell you this. That Rico was the real deal. What? <laughs> I would never wear the clothes of a living human. Living human? It just feels too good to wear the clothes of a poor human who died miserably. Would you even understand? Go. Then, why don't you show us what's under that glove? Sure thing. With that, the ranger removed the glove and showed us a completely uninjured hand. Satisfied now? No way. Ah, then sure enough, there wasn't a fake. We just waste our time in vain. Not necessarily. Eh? 
Mr. Pleeman started to figure out these floor masters. I could tell from Minnie too. What you've got in common is, you cannot lie about the important stuff. That's why you're touching on the topic, but cleverly talking around it. But I noticed. Notice what? Ranger, just now, you said that Rico was the real deal. <laughs> why do you say there's no fake one? Oh, if you forgot to say that, I'll give you another chance. Blank. If you can't say it, that's the same as confessing. There is a real, sorry, a fake Rico. What, the blank? And it's relevant to this final attraction too. Huh? Where's your proof? It's just my detective intuition. Pretty persuasive. I can feel it. The wound on Rico's hand is the only clue the AI Mishima left us. Feels like his intuitions, intentions are shining some light on us all. KG, but how could Rico's fake be related to this attraction? Listen, Sarah, if a Rico who inched her arm was real, then who's the fake? Exactly, who is the fake? Who exactly is the fake? Identify the fake. That would be the Rico with no injury. Hmm. The Rico standing before us. The Rico in front of us. Is the fake? What? Don't be stupid. Yet yeah, Ranger said that Rico who punched the monitor was real. So, you having no wound on your hand means you're the fake. What? How did that, that figure... I can't imagine either the person in front of me is clearly Rico. Even so, the matter of the injury can't be passed off as just, just my imagination. If you think logically, this person has to be fake. Can you prove you're the real one, Rico? <laughs> Hold the hell up! You're seriously suspecting me? I'm Rico, no matter how you look at it. I'm real, aren't I? Please, sir, don't confuse people with your weird ideas. We're friends, right? I thought I made a friend I could trust for the first time. Then, give me proof. For goodness sakes! What? Please quit the foreigners. Don't you bully Rico anymore. If you want evidence, I'll give it as her brother. This is the real Rico. But what's your proof? The eyes of her blood. <laughs> brother by blood. I can't possibly be mistaken. Gage, you've been tricked by Ranger. What? That Rico was real. This Rico is also real. That's what Ranger meant. This is a trap, I tell you. One, one meant to ensnare Rico. And yet you. You're thinking of sacrificing Rico to save Jin, aren't you? Alice? Listen to me, Sarah Chinderwin. I'm not panicking. I'm making a composed judgment. Her disguise couldn't possibly fool my eyes. Her behavior, the slightest gestures, her personality, in every way, this is real Rico. Yes, from the one you used to know. From your childhood. I've been with her for 20 years, even through makeup. I can see her true identity. Makeup? Please believe me, Sarah. Has a stare me in the eye. He's not lying. Don't listen to him, Sarah. The point of this attraction must be to identify the fake and save Jin. Otherwise, someone will absolutely have to be sacrificed. That's true. So, so, we just have to drop that fake. Progress is being made. There's no time to hesitate. We can't save Jin unless we drop the fake there. Nao, are you trying to frame me? That there is a real Reiko. If she was f a fake wearing a disguise, I, her brother, would know. If this Reiko is a fake, when are you saying she was switched with a real Reiko? In the room of lies. Someone could only have taken Reiko's place when she was alone. Was there any such time? And there's another big problem. What's the real identity of the fake? We'll say first. I want this to be done and over with before the end of the episode. Right. You select an item. This is it. This web of happiness that broke apart earlier. I got this when I went with Rico into the room of lies. That's why I remember. As soon as I took the web of happiness, the lights went out. And Rico screamed. I heard Rico scream. And when I left the room, I was only holding Rico's glove. For just a short time, Rico was by herself in the room of lies. 
and Veriko that left the room was still wearing gloves on both hands. That's right. At the time she left the room with lies, Rico had already been replaced. Set. Uh. The lie in the room of lies wasn't just a web of happiness. The kidnappers devised as a trap that had sent out a fake to confuse us. I get it. Then there was more to that room than just putting out a dummy item. Say, Rico, should you give up soon? Or you don't mean to deny Miss Sarah, do you? No, Rico. Disprove her, please! You're wrong. I'm not a fake. Ain't there still a huge ass problem? If you're saying I'm a fake, then who the hell am I, really? There's been nine of us here, and even Ranger and Sapphaline. If someone took someone else, if someone took someone else's place, there'd have to be fewer people, right? True. Ranger, please tell us: is there any person on this floor we haven't met yet? Uh, you're not going to tell you all, but there is not. No human you haven't met will be making an appearance here. It can't be. Get it now? If nobody could take my place, then there's no goddamn way there's a fake. That can't be right. We were just a step away. But if I don't know who this fake really is... Sarah Chindrin, Cisha Doubting. Alice. It's not as if I believe her own brother could mistake her either. But, no, wait, sure enough. Am I uncertain that maybe I've had a huge misunderstanding? Cage is bewildered too. If their identity is a person, Kana and everyone has already met then... You don't mean it's one of the victims? Ridiculous. But, but if we worry over this anymore, Jin will... We need to drop the fake. Nao. If I'm a fake, Sarah could be a fake too, you know. Eh? Didn't she say earlier, me and Sarah went in the room of lies together? Only I was replaced with a fake? How can you say that for sure, Nao? I mean... Nao, don't give in to her arguments. Sarah, you've chosen Jin over me. Damn it, damn it, I can't believe this blank. I trusted you! Don't be fooled, Nao. Sarah's trying to trick you so the two of you can push me down. You aren't Rico. You're fake. Don't be a so absurd. That's a real Rico. Uh, um, Nao, please, it's riding on you. The fake is appealing to Nao to protest. In their case, we have to have a fair and square discussion. Rico, let's talk one on one. Sarah? I challenge you. If I'm mistaken, cut me down with the blade of logic. Let's do it, Sarah. I'll open up your clouded eyes. Hmm. Let's see. War of words. The story would progress regardless, but there's a minor dialogue change depending on whether you or not you win. The correct statements to refute are the following. You're the real one. Yeah, right. This person is a fake. Hmm. I've... Hmm. I've been with Alice since I was born. No, he must have been apart for at least as long as Alice has been in prison. There's only two and a half years. That's plenty of time for a person's thoughts and personality to change. And yet Alice keeps saying you're no different. It's simply him who's convinced of that. Gah. Hmm. We split the stuff inside among us equally. Was it really equal? You took most of the clear chips we got in the room of lies, Rico. And after that, did you really share the clear chips with anyone else? W well, that's greed. It isn't the real Rico. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. You will be tricked. Hmm, okay. That's right, I was sleepy so my memory's just fuzzy. You were talked with Professor Mishima at length, and yet you're going to say you were sleepy? Maybe the truth is, we didn't talk that much, okay? No, Keiji testified that, you were talking in great detail. Gah. You're being tricked by Ranger's word games. No, Keiji saw through Ranger's word twisting and refuted him. And Rage was unable to cut to clearly say that there was no fake. 
shaking vexed. He couldn't say it. Listen, even if we say somebody we ever met has replaced me as a faker, ain't that a contradiction itself? And um, but nine of us, Ranger and Staffling, ain't that everybody? Wait a second, there's one more person we didn't see here. The person at the prize exchange he called himself a receptionist doll. Huh? The guy with the mustache? That's right, the forgotten final person. Hold up, that guy clearly ain't human, right? He's never got any expression, he calls, he's called the damn receptionist doll. Doll? Enough, it's used to discuss this anymore. Are you trying to run away? No. But no matter how much we talk, we can't clarify. So you clearly, you can't clearly tell me who this fake or whatever is really. Ugh. Come on, say it already. Who am I? No humans we ever met will appear. Humans. Why did she say humans? Don't tell me you're trying to say I'm not a human. Hmm. Not human. It's an unthinkable, absurd idea. But something's lodged itself in my head. I am an AI program of Kazumi Mishima. The AIs are basically super detailed reproductions based on you all, the participants. In fact, they're AIs with hearts, possessing superb emotional capabilities. One of the purposes these dolls were made for is a mental relief. Allow me to show you a wonderful function that will make you feel even close to this doll. If. If you could combine an artificial intelligence with a doll, you could create a completely perfect fake. Huh? Sarah, settle down. Do you know what you're saying? I was. I was always wondering. Why did something like an AI Professor Mishima even exist? Why were their dolls made to recreate us in such perfect detail? Maybe this facility, the Kidnappers Organization, is making doll copies of humans. What? You've lost your marble, Sarah. A doll that looks just like Rico and an AI that recreates Rico's personality. The result of combining those two things is... An imposter Rico! Are you being serious, Sarah Chadwin? I am. That's how she could fool even her own brother. She's not someone else in person as her. She's a duplicate. Your claims are an utter mess. Guys, Sarah's lost a call. We should drop this whole thing. Everyone. Everyone's full of doubt, despairing looks. Such was the recreation to my shaky conclusion. Me, the one who has entrusted our hopes. No die, sir. I wasn't able to persuade everyone. Mm -hmm. Let's see now. Jin, I couldn't. I couldn't save you. Now, that's interesting. Eh? It's a bold idea, the kind of absurd conclusion only you could come to, Sarah. I'll take your word for it. I am bored with this. KG! Mr. Policeman's even your ally. Ever your ally, Sarah. She's nothing of it. I can't think of any other way to break the deadlock. Listen, Jin's at his limit. This is the end. We have to decide. Sarah, give us some proof that Rico's a doll with an artificial intelligence. Okay, I'll sum it up simply. The Rico who brought Mishima's monitor was real, and in the room of lies, the real and the fake Rico got swapped. So this Rico here is a fake, and you infer she's actually a doll copy, but she won't recognize it. It's true, Professor Mishima's AI was perfect. I could imagine it was the real Professor there. Perfectly replicating a human is impossible. There's absolutely must be a difference somewhere. I've proven I'm a human, all right. What do you want? I'll do anything. Why didn't the AI of Mishma have any memory of us, I wonder? Naturally, the personality of the AIs are based on the real people's, right? Real humans change in personality and gain memories. The AI should need updating, too. Well, then. Extract regular statement. Choose something. Of course, I'm going to save again because this is so incriminating. 
Oh my god, this recording has gone on for nearly two hours. I don't like this outcome, for goodness sakes, right. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I could even just make two episodes out of this single recording session. Okay. Yeah, I don't choose to try and just intermingle with all of this. I'm just going to do what the walkthrough says. So, extract. I'll prove that I'm a human, all right? What do you want? I'll do anything. Tell me something a machine or dog definitely can't do. And I'll do it with ease. I'll open your eyes, Sarah. Have her seen a song? I want you to sing a song. A song? Okay, got it. Seen is my life, so open those ears. Her song echoes through the room. It's a song full of feeling that makes your body tremble when heard up close. In it, I sense a certain feeling. I want you to believe me. How's that? This is the big hit I play at concerts. Samurai Owner. That's wrong. I never heard a song from Rico's bands, but I can't compare her singing with a real deal. Even so, could a doll perform vocals so full of emotion? Time advanced. Let's see. Band breakup to Rico. Hmm. It's not Samurai Owner. You select his item. This is it. Have I finally found it? The discrepancy other than the injury on her hand, the borderline between the real and fake. Rico, let me confirm just one thing. But what is it? This Samurai Owner song, is that a song by your band? Obviously, I only sang my own songs. It's the ultimate song, named for my old band, Samurai Yaiba. Alice, you noticed. Huh? Please read this. What's a scrap of paper? This is an article on Samurai Yaiba's breakup. Don't be stupid, of course I remember this. It's from after Alice was arrested. Yes, but what you don't remember are the wounds that this left on your heart. My heart? Rico, Alice's arrest came as a shock to you. So much so that you couldn't sing your span song anymore. I couldn't sing? Read it please. It says it's right in the article. Alice was a member in your previous band, right? Indeed. That's why you couldn't do it anymore. Rico couldn't sing songs that remind her of her brother. And yet, you proudly sang for me a song from the old band. What's the meaning of this? It means that this Rico has not been updated so that she doesn't want to sing a song. This is what Ranger said. The AI memories are updated regularly every six months and personality every three years. Three years. And only memory could be brought up to date at any time. So I'm sure you do have the memory of your band's breakup, but your personality only got refreshed once every three years. If the last update was only two and a half years ago, then it would be before my murder case. That's right. Before the incident that made Rico unable to sing, forcing the band to break up. Stop it. In other words, your personality remains a time capsule of Rico Yabasane from three years ago. I... I'm... I'm... Real? A fake? A doll? Ron? That's Ron. I'm real. Because... I... Am alive. My memories. My feelings. Overcoming their deaths. My pain. All of us helping each other. Was it all... A program? Am I... A fake? Ah, yep, you're a fake. Like hell. That can't be right, it ain't possible. Once you say that stuff, I just gotta admit it, don't I? What else did you want me to do? The concept of a room of lies was once you see through it, it's over, okay? I'm still half believing that Rico is a doll. Rico, no. 
The fake was a ruse meant to deceive us. Mm, wouldn't quite say that. The fake just really thinks she's Rico. That's what copy is. But then I'm really... I'll explain it for y'all. First up, you blanks reasoned right. It was real Rico who broke Kazumi Mishima's monitor. Seems Keiji and Neo witnessed it. Day broke, and the real Rico went with Sarah into a room of lies. Since in danger, Sarah grabbed the real Rico's hand, but unfortunately Rico got caught. And the one who came out was the, was the fake Rico. After that, it was the fake waltzing around, but there were two problems. First was that the memory updates hadn't caught up. Since the real Reiko came to the real so the room of lies less than a day after the break of the Mishima monitor, the memory of her smashing it never got put in. Second was that her last personality update was two months or oh, sorry, two years and eight months ago. Seems like her personality changed a fair bit from the shock of her brother Alice's arrest. Ah oh, well. Not much you could do about that stuff. Where's the real Reiko? Who can say? Try the room of lies. If you did anything, it's, uh, I'll kill you. Ah, oh, are you the only, or the only concern for the real one? Makes me feel bad for the fake Reiko here. Uh, hey, you solved it, right? Hurry. Yes, yes, hurry up. Since it's a fake Reiko, I'm sure you can push her without regrets. But that, wait, wait a sec. I'm alive too. I don't want to die. Doesn't feel good. Why is she able to cry too? She's basically a human at this point. Help me, guys. Is there part of the emotion program too? Ah, you got it. Awful. Awful. Isn't this just too cruel? If she has a heart and feelings, she's no different from a human. Hmm. If you think so, just sacrifice Jin. Sarah, make it quick. It's just a doll, you hear? Can't be more positive than a real human. Exactly. Sarah, stop it. I, I thought you were my friend. I just have to make a decision. Sarah. Stop. Forgive me, Sarah. I push her to the edge. The next one will be the last. Neo? Whew. No more. You didn't have to shoulder any more, Sarah. And the LCDs have gone. Jin and Katawa's restraints unlocked. Jin, Jin, hurry, get the antidote. I'll get it now. Just wait. Jin, hang on. Hey, Ranger. What, was Rico really definitely a fake? You're not lying, are you? Look at the corpse, you'll be able to tell. As if I could tell, at Rico's corpse. We should probably confirm. We'll take a look. I look down at the fallen Rico. Oof. In terms of appearance, she looks absolutely real. A human killed by impalement. An ally who just wants to live. There's no blood. Huh? Yes, I see. Sure enough, she was a doll. But then, where's the real Rico? Ranger, where's the real... Ranger and Shafflin have already vanished. The room of lies. Not good. Rico! Alice took off running. Finally, the impression room sank back into place. Jin! Stay with us, Jin! Don't die, Jin. Keiji's bring an antidote. It'll be better soon. Jin! Say something. Say something, Jin! Big sis, Sarah. Jin! Sorry, meow. Jin! Jin! Sarah, let's go find Rico. Jin will be fine with the antidote. I mean, believe in the policeman. We're going to search for Rico. She's right, Sarah. You get going. I understand. Sorry, Sarah. What do you mean, sorry, Sarah? Rico, where's Rico? Alice, please calm down. Whoa, you're in a real hurry, huh? How'd you get here first? 
You want to meet Rico that badly, you blank? Why are you saying it like that? Talk, you damn doll! Ah, uh, fine, I'll let you meet her. <laughs> really? But first, I got a quiz for you. What's the current status of Rico Yabasain? Huh? What are you talking about? One nonsense dead. Two deft from a trap in this room. Three watching over you all as a severed head. Pick one. What's he saying? Don't be ridiculous. Stop it, stop it. I can't believe that. I can't. Rico wouldn't die so easily. Humans are also fragile, you know. Aren't I right, Safalin? They really are, aren't they? With that, Safalin appeared in her hands was. Was Rico? Huh? That's not Rico. Inconceivable. Such blatant lies. All lies. I'll kill you. Oh. Let's see how this goes. Haha, <laughs> you're scaring me, Alice. You no matter what. If you want her that badly, have her catch. Hmm. That's not the real her. Rico! Ah, uh, Rico. I knew it. That was... A... Trick. An intense sound. A loud one like something popping. Uh, sorry, Rico's collar might have exploded. Hmm, you okay? No, that does not look okay. You got a big hole in your stomach. <coughs> Alice! Oh, that's not great. You're gonna die, huh? Don't joke with me. This. This. Alice. Rico. Well, I. Rico. Uh. No! Alice! Alice! How? Please treat him, Safaline. Re. Alice, why did this happen? As my mind went blank, I heard footsteps approach. Bro? Rico? You dumbass, bro, don't die on me. Open your eyes, bro, it's me, it's Rico. I'm alive? Bro? I looked to the center of the room and saw an open pillar of sorts. Don't tell me Rico was in there from the start. Well, this is the room of lies. The correct answer to the quiz was, Baru Rico is alive and tied up. Alive and tied up. Didn't even notice the doll's head. Go show how much of a sibling bond is worth. <laughs> That's underhanded. Eh? The moment it exploded, the trap should have been over with. If he released me right away, I could have at least told him I was alive. <laughs> what he was thinking doesn't change, but he was going to die, does it? It totally it changes everything. It's totally different, God damn it! You damn heartless doll. That's it. I'm gonna kill you. Huh? Hey, you should know. If you kill the floor master, you're all gonna die. We're being tested as floor masters too. Get me? You think I give a blank? Rico started running at Ranger. Well, that's only if you beat me anyhow. Damn. Huh? A gun? Why? You step out of line, Rio Ranger. I have no more- What the hell? The reception doll was indeed the master of this floor after all. Dad. Why? What the hell is going on? F fix me already, Dad. Unfortunately, Rio Ranger, this is farewell. What are you saying? I don't wanna- do you hate me or something? Wasn't I your greatest masterpiece, Dad? That is in the past. Why do you think you are the most human of the dolls I created? Because you put your affection into me most. Ron, it was jealousy. I implanted in your emotion program an excessive sense of inferiority toward and hatred of humans. Humans have it nice. I envy humans. Why am I a doll? What's so great about humans? And so on. With that complex you can never overcome, you burned with deep jealousy and truly qualified as human. 
This convinced me that it is negative emotions that make us human. But that's... Yeah, for the burning flames of jealousy to turn one into a monster. That is just as human. You are an implement to the plan. A failure. Wow. Well then, I apologize you had to witness such unsightliness, everyone. I invite you now again to the main game. This time, card data for the key master, sacrifice, sage, and commoners have been distributed to the tablets you possess. This has been done at random, and I imagine some of you may be dissatisfied with your role. In that case, you may use a trading function to forcibly swap cards with another. However, you must use me tokens you have earned in order to utilize this function. The trust tokens you have earned up to this point will be essential in deciding the battle. What the hell? Just who are you guys? I am the reception doll. No, let's do away with the tedious set dressing. I am Gashu Satu, a researcher into negative emotions. Now, let the main game begin. Wow. Oof. You up? Wow, Thor's gonna die, meow. Jin lives! Sorry, the switch. You're a big chicken wolf. Sorry. It's fine, meow. I'm alive, wolf. Jin. Thanks. Yeah? Thanks, meow. Yay! Your turn to die. Death game by majority. Chapter 2, Part 1. End. Hmm. Lovely things. This game is just too complicated for us to... Hey, how you doing? Well, I thought you was dead, Ranger. I'm going to take you on a stroll down memory lane. Recap the story so far. Be grateful, you blank. Um... Skip summary. Jeez, what a boy, right, I get ya. Yeah, I want to proceed for, for the story. Hey, you know what a majority vote is? Yeah, of course we do. When the majority of a population votes for the same thing. Hi, Kai. One vote. Two vote. Another vote. And another vote. Another one. More. And more equals blood. Huh. You don't know they die. <laughs> Sal. Hey, long time no see. Well, gone used to majority votes yet? You shut up. Uh -huh, are you mad? Well, keep it up and vote for who you hate, which is you, Sal. Kill decisively so you can just su survive. Kill the people who get in your way. You, Sal. No big, no big, it's not like it's your fault. Aren't I right? Sal Hiyori? Huh? Your countenance has already changed. <laughs> Funny, do your best. Does that mean that Sal really isn't Sal at the end of the day? Hmm, I need to dispose of all the documents in the shredder. I need to tear these all off and throw them out. Hmm. Blood is rising in there. What's going on here? How do I get away from all this? So gloomy. Run. This place again? I collapse on the floor. And the laptop. This. I remember, it's Kai's laptop that I found on the first floor. It's gone. It was stolen. By Miss Nail when she... There's blood there. Why is there blood on the floor? I'm dead. I see. That time Miss Nail attacked me. Every remaining trace. All of it. Yeah. Run. And a hand out of there. And this. What's this? Obtain a frying pan. That was probably Kai's. So gloomy. Dead men tell no tales, right Kai? Run. 
run. How far are you going to run? Run? Me? No one needs you. Why do you live? I'm astonished by everyone just refuses to ever doubt that you're right. Isn't this enough? Here. Well, that is the shadow of Sarah Chandawin. Hmm. Sure enough, that's your true nature. It's your turn to die, Sal. Sarah? Is that you just trying to implant a fake image of a person? Sal! Please wake up! Ugh. Kana? This is... my room? Don't startle me all of a sudden. You're all I have left, Sal. Please don't suddenly collapse. You're right. You're right. You have betrayed Miss Sarah twice now. There's nowhere for you to go back to. Kana? Don't you betray me. Okay. Well then, let's start a strategy meeting. You too, Kitaro. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Yep, we know sound is true nature, for goodness sakes. Hey, is playing instrument fun? Ah, what? You interested, bro? What you makes me want to play, Rico? Where do we get to save? You're too clumsy, bro. Doubt you even can. So mean. <laughs> Don't whine about it. Alright, I'll teach you. You mean it? And if you get bored of it, I'll kick your butt. Of course I won't get bored. Believe me, hey Rico. Huh? What's up? Someday. Let's make a band and have a de our debut. <laughs> For real? I'll make songs and you'll sing them. Does that, Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> Sounds great. Don't forget it, bro. A vision of the past. Don't you ever forget. Sarah. Rico. Has just been staring at the unmoving Alice. Not even noticing me behind her. You dumbass. You broke. Another promise. No. Maybe I broke it. Saying like. What would you know? I wouldn't even face you. Was I the mistaken one? Maybe you're not talking with me. Maybe even you going and killing a guy. It was all my fault. It's my fault. It's not your fault, Rico. Just come back to life. I don't think a hole in the stomach that big will allow someone to come back to life. Damn it, Sheesh. I had so many chance to forgive you. What can I say? Rico, you guys. Um, I know how you feel, but the main game will be very soon. Just leave me alone, damn it. R Rico, we were told to assemble, right? I know that. But if I see one of those kidnappers' faces right now, I know my fists are gonna fly. You can't do that. We can't lose you too, Rico. R right. So please, just leave me alone, Neo. I understand. Neo. Like, what can we do in this st state? Leave things be. There's nothing I can do. But wait, Neo! Yes? Never mind. For just a little bit. Stay at my side. Rico. Uh, Sarah? Yeah? Please leave this to me. I can't support everyone like you, Sarah. But I think I can support Rico right now. Understood. I'll be right there. I'm sure Rico will get back on her feet. I'll trust Neo. Off to the medical office. Hmm. Count our blessings that this is somehow over and done with now. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This for me has been a 2 hour 20 minute recording session. But thank you so much for watching. See what's next time of your turn to die. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves.